so excited. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am so excited to start filming again. You guys can tell that I'm in a totally different kind of area. Um, this is my filming slash closet room, and I'm just extremely excited. Um, I don't know what to say first. It's like so weird filming again. It's been over a month since I filmed a video, and I'm definitely a little rusty. Just to reference how rusty I am, I filmed a video before this and I forgot to hit record. So I was like, oh my gosh. So a part of that video is just kind of like cut out. I don't even know if I'm going to use that footage. But then when I started filming my July favorites video, this video right here, I probably got like a quarter of the way through and realized that I wasn't recording. If you guys want a little update on me, let me know and then I'll kind of just do um, a video on that maybe because I know some people just really don't care about what is going on with my life But if you do want to know what's going on in my life, then um, I can do a video on that But I'm just going to get on to my July favorite the first things I'm going to talk about are some makeup tools The first thing I want to mention are the real technique brushes. I mentioned in my last haul video that I purchased um, a few sets of the real technique brushes and um, I was going to try them out and a lot of you guys wanted to know what I thought about them Love them. Amazing. They are freaking awesome. A lot of them, or I think all of them, are synthetic bristles. So that's awesome. I love this brush right here. This is the Expert Face Brush. And I really enjoy this because it's great for foundation, whether it's liquid, cream, mousse, anything like that. I haven't used it with powder. It's a little too dense, I think, for a powder foundation. Flawless application. Really easy to use. Blends out nicely and it just looks amazing so I love this and it washes really well the only thing I don't really like are the handles these handles are pretty thick and they're just kind of hard to find places to like store them so other than that awesome brushes the next brush I have here is the Real Techniques uh, setting brush so this is the setting brush you can see this is a little smaller uh, I love using this to set my concealer right under the eye perfect for that it is tapered so it kind of gets in the crevices really nicely and just right under the eye without kind of like going everywhere. Another one that I'm testing out right now, let me get it, is this one right here. This is their stippling brush and I've been, I only use it a few times so I don't know how I like it but it's nice so far. Next brush I'm going to show you is right here. This is the Equal Tools Fan Brush and I found this at Ulta. Oh, it's the Deluxe Fan Brush, it says. So I found this at Ulta, and I was looking at it, and I'm just like, this is kind of awesome. It's really hard to find a good fan brush for really inexpensive, and I like this one because it is pretty dense, as you can see. It's a lot thicker than most fan brushes that you find at drugstores and like stuff like that at a good price. So I really like this. It's also synthetic fibers, really soft, picks up the color really well. Love using this for highlighting right there on top of the cheekbones, so I really do recommend the Equal Tools fan brush. If you want a fan brush for fairly inexpensive, go check out Ulta. You can also find it on buy one get one half off, so love this. The Laura Geller Retractable Baked Powder Brush. So that's what it is by Laura Geller. So you just take off the top and it kind of, well, looks like that, but when you close it, you just kind of push it up and then put on the cap. I went to Tampa to see my brother just to visit my family for a little bit and this brush was great just to have in my purse because it doesn't get you know my purse all dirty it has a cap over it and it's retractable so it's a really soft synthetic fibered brush for powder and I believe I got this on hot look to be honest it was like super inexpensive um, so that's that and then the last tool that I have to show you is this right here this baby is awesome so this is basically an eyebrow shaper. So I got this at Sally's Beauty Supply Store, and they're just there's a lot of different ones, a lot of different brands. I don't really know what brand this is, but um, basically you kind of just take off the cap here and you just shape your eyebrows. If you don't want to get like a wax, or you don't have time to get a wax, um, or if you are traveling and you know you get the little uni brow sometimes, get one of these you know slightly be very careful if you don't have a steady hand I would definitely like practice but um I'm pretty good with it so I kind of just like go like this shave my eyebrows good to go so it's basically like a mini eyebrow shaver shaper so love these Sally's Beauty Supplies they come in a three pack and they're like four or five bucks so and they last a while so I don't have to like replace them every single time so it's great now I'm going to move on to the makeup. I actually have been using, you know, a lot of like the similar things that I've always been using. You guys know what I use because you guys have been watching me for a while. But a few different things that I want to show you guys. And then a few um, kind of oldies but goodies. So one of the oldies but goodies is this right here. This is the Purity One Step Facial Cleanser.
cleanser. So I absolutely love Purity. It's great to remove makeup, to just clean your face, everything. It's kind of just one step, all in one, great for travel. They do have little travel sizes, which I have also, and they're just amazing, super convenient. So I definitely recommend Purity, especially if you're traveling in the summer. Um, one step, you're done. You don't have to carry all these like cleansers and makeup wipes and makeup removers kind of thing. So love, love that. And that's an oldie but a goodie. I have been loving this. I, this is from the UK. My friend Larissa sent this to me in our swap. If you haven't seen our huge swap video, I will link that down below so you guys can check that out. Um, but yeah, so this is the Sleek Face Contour Kit. And this one is in medium. So um, it has a mirror. I don't want to blind you. But this is what it looks like. It has a really deep contour color and then a nice highlighter. I love this palette. Extremely soft, extremely pigmented. It's like insane. And then the highlighter is just as gorgeous. The highlighter is even softer than the bronzer. It's just so pretty. I wouldn't wear this every single day because it is so strong, but it's really nice for like, you know, going out to like the city, to the bars, or to clubs or something. So I really do enjoy this. So thank you so much, Larissa, for sending me this. I know this was like on my wish list, so I'm so happy she got that for me. The next thing I'm going to show you is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Crayon Concealer. This was in my haul video a while ago, and let me tell you, I absolutely love it. Um, there's actually not too much product in it. When I first got it, I think there was like maybe that much of a crayon in it, which is not too bad. Price, I believe it's around seven or eight dollars. And this is all I have left. Can you guys see that little stub right there? Like it doesn't go up anymore because I used it. Amazing coverage. This is like literally a full coverage concealer. Most crayon concealers like this are full coverage. So to find one at the drugstore is amazing. I love it. I will definitely be repurchasing this. The color I have and this is W123. I use this for my under eyes and it just brightens up my under eyes very, very well. Covers my dark circles and I absolutely love this. I'm, I basically need another one because that's all I have left. So this right here, this is the Lorac Single Eyeshadow in Serenity. So I have to say I'm very picky when it comes to like higher end eyeshadows because I believe there's, you know, amazing quality eyeshadows for a lot, a lot cheaper basically. Um, I love drugstore eyeshadows. I think they're great but this I got in a kit and it, it really makes me want to go get more of these Lorac eyeshadows because it's amazing. This is in Serenity and this is actually a beautiful color. I've been using it quite a lot. Super soft. These eyeshadows are so soft and gorgeous. Like I can't even explain. Like do you see how pretty that sheen is? I love wearing this just all over the lid. It's very, very nice, very subtle, good for every day. So this is a kind of like my go-to color when I don't know what to wear. I have to go pick up more. Um, gonna look into it. Um, again, high-end eyeshadows are kind of like, eh, to me. But if they're like on sale or something, I'll definitely pick them up. Along with the whole high-end eyeshadow deal, I have the Smashbox Eyeshadow Trio. And this one is in Vanilla, Vanilla, Sable, and Sumatra. So this is basically the Smashbox eyeshadow trio, which are all matte colors. Jordan Liberty, who came to train us at Ulta. I work at Ulta, if you guys don't know. I work there part-time, and then I have, you know, my big girl job. But Jordan Liberty came in, and he trained us, and he told us that, that this was basically the Kim Kardashian eye look. So he gave us all one. So blending color, crease color, lid, and highlight color. Really easy, really simple for every day if you want something simple. All matte, extremely nice, works on pretty much everybody, and the, these eyeshadows are amazingly pigmented. I believe I swatched this already in a video, but I really do like the Smashbox trios. They are expensive. That's the only thing I don't like about them. They're like 28 bucks for a trio, which isn't too bad because you get three eyeshadows, but... I don't know, maybe I'm cheap or something, but I don't know, 28 bucks? Even with my uh, Ulta discount, I don't think I would buy them, so. If I'm talking too fast, I extremely apologize. Again, I'm a little rusty with this whole filming thing, so please excuse my, you know, fast talking and everything. Please excuse this whole video. If this is a horrible video, I am extremely sorry. I'm trying to get back into the flow of things, but one more favorite, one more. The last thing I have is this Bare Minerals Foundation. And this is the matte foundation. And you guys know that I did not like Bare Minerals at all. Like, I tried them when I was younger and it broke me out so bad. But then they reformulated the foundation a few years ago or a couple, I don't know, maybe a long time ago. But I just never wanted to go back to it because of the way 
it broke out my face and I was just, it would irritate my face, especially in the summertime. And I was just like, I am never gonna try Bare Minerals again. But Bare Minerals came in for a training and they actually gave us all one of their starter kits. So I picked up the Bare Minerals Matte in medium beige. And let me just tell you, this is an awesome foundation. This is great. I actually really like it now. It's not my favorite, but I think it's very, very nice for summer. The reason I like it for summer is because it's a mineral foundation. It's very light, um, so I don't have to wear liquid foundations or, or anything heavy like that. It actually wears really well. It, it can be full coverage, which I was extremely surprised with. I actually do use a lot of it if I do want that full coverage, because usually I'm a full coverage foundation kind of girl. That's just the kind of girl I am. But if you're not, if you're like a medium, this would be great for you. I have the Bare Minerals Matte because I'd rather wear a matte face and then kind of just add like a glow to my face with bronzer, blush, or highlighters. So I got the Bare Minerals Matte. Love it. It's great. Um, it doesn't irritate my skin anymore. It has great coverage. It has SPF, which is awesome, and you definitely need SPF, especially in the summertime. And I really enjoy it now. So. I'm happy actually that I got this and I got to try it out because I hate when it's super hot out and I'm wearing liquid foundation because I feel like my face is melting. So when I found this and I actually liked it, I was extremely excited because it's like a it's really light on the face and I actually really do like it. Some people still hate bare minerals. I don't blame you. I hated them for the longest time, but I actually really like them now. Um, you just gotta test it out. You gotta try it out. So again, my color is in medium beige. And then, okay, one more thing. Okay, I thought that was the last thing, but I've been really loving Essie nail polishes, you guys. It's so weird because I've never been into Essie. I was always like, China Glaze, yeah, China Glaze, number one. But I bought a lot of Essie nail polish lately, which I haven't showed you guys. I'm going to show you guys in my next haul video, which is going to be a huge haul video. Just a heads up. But um, this is in Bikini So Teeny. And then this is the color that I'm actually wearing on my nails right now. And I absolutely love it. Really beautiful kind of blue periwinkle color. So love it for summer. And I actually love the wear on this. My I've had this for a few days now. Actually longer than a few days. And usually by now my nail polishes would be like rubbing off at the tips or chipping. And I see it's holding up. Love it. So extremely impressed now this is like my new favorite nail polish brand sorry china glaze but yeah so love essie polishes that basically concludes my july favorites for 2013 i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'm so happy to be back i'm extremely excited just to keep filming and so i really need requests from you guys anything you guys want to see please let me know down below in the comment section i am going to do um, a haul video because I have so much stuff that I haven't showed you guys. I So I have a haul video. I have a Florida haul video because I definitely need to break that up because the haul video would be like 40 minutes long, I swear. So I'm going to break that up. So a Florida haul. Then I'm going to have a room tour once everything is like super settled in. I am going to do... Um, I think I want to do like my all-time favorite lip products because I definitely do have a few that I absolutely love, love, love and will always love. So definitely going to do that. And if anything you want to see, please leave it down below and I'll be happy, happy to put it in my little notebook of requests. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me and still watching me. I am so excited to get back into my videos and I thank you so much, you guys. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Oh, and giveaways coming up. I have a lot of giveaway stuff for you guys. So extremely excited there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys soon in my next one. Bye.